Man, if I was a junior high school boy, I'm sure I would feel thank God I'm in heaven because girls are almost naked. Hono no kokyu, ichi no kata. Shiranui. Hello everyone, it's Mrs. Eat. Today I'm gonna talk about eight things that really, really shocked me about America. About two years ago, I went to America for the first time in my life. Of course. I enjoy staying there, I enjoy meeting my relatives, I enjoy eating real pizza and going to museums and stuff. I really enjoyed so much. But there are some things that really, really shocked me about America. So today I'm gonna share it with you. Number one, quality of fast food restaurants in America. Fast food restaurants in Japan, we, we think it's very tidy, neat, and stuff are very helpful. And when I went to In and Out with my family, I felt like I was in Japan. But <laughs> when we went to Subway in Walmart, oh, it's a different story. Inside the shop was dim and dark and kind of very scary. You know, I thought Subway would be like, you know, staff were very clean and then smiley and helpful. And then the sandwich maker, uh, she was very helpful. But this is how she put together my sandwich. Well, what me do you like? Hmm? Would you like some mayonnaise? Do you want some avocados? Okay. Okay. Would you like your bounce toasted or not? I was so scared to talk to her. She was very, very energetic and super happy. I love her energy, but she was a little too weird, <laughs> weirdly energetic. I think she could be some kind of drug or something. <laughs> Number two is really tight leggings. Of course, Japanese women wear leggings here too. But uh, when I went to America, there are a bunch of girls wearing really, really tight leggings. And their t-shirt or tank tops are really short. You know what I mean? So I could see their butts like just walking. What's a walking like this? Usually, if a woman wear a leggings in Japan, they tend to wear longer t-shirts so that they can cover their butt. But when I, when I was in Walmart, and a bunch of girls are wearing tight leggings with really tight, tight t-shirts and short t-shirts, I was imagining, man, if I was a junior high school boy, I'm sure I would feel, thank God I'm in heaven, because girls are almost naked. <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Please let me know in the comment down below. Next is the height of toilet in America. So when I was using the bathroom, the toilet was really, really high. So my feet barely touched the floor. You know, I felt like I was a kid again. I am pretty tall in Japan, but using the toilet in America made me feel like Krillin. You know, the bald guy Krillin from Dragon Ball because he's so short. <laughs> so next is huge gap in bathroom. Why do you guys have such a huge gap in bathroom? You can actually see someone taking a dump. <laughs> I feel like it has no privacy, you know? Because you guys already have very, very tiny toilet door. So you can see from your knees to toe. Like you can actually see people taking a dump too. What are you doing? Where are your father? My father? Yeah. My father in there. Okay. What are you doing? I was very, very shocked to see not only the gap from the ground to your knee, but also the gap between the door. I feel like, oh man, I have suddenly an x-ray vision. And of course in Japan, when you close the door in a toilet, you cannot see inside from outside, from also from the inside. You cannot see through. My sister-in-law was very, very surprised that I finished using the bathroom so quickly. You know why? You know why? Because I knew, I knew somebody would be watching me from the gap, you know? So how could I, how could I happily, you know, use the bathroom? So I was like, I tried to do it as fast as I can. 
in my head. Oh my god, I gotta finish as soon as possible. Otherwise, the hentai over there is trying to peep, peep inside. Hentai tachi wo korosanaito. I talked about a lot about and very passionate about toilets in America, and I'm thinking to make one video about history of Japanese toilets. If you are interested in, or if you would like to watch. History of Japanese toilet, which is very interesting. Please let me know down in the comment. Next is free money. I was very surprised to see a small, like a small plate, next to that cashier, and then in the plate you see a lot of、uh, cents, small coins there, and then it says take a penny, leave a penny. I was like, wow, money is just sitting next to the cashier. I was very surprised. I did not know what are those coins are for. I thought. Like a donation, and then I Google it, and it tells me that、uh, you can take, you can use that penny when you buy something. That would never happen in Japan. Why would people leave their own money at the cashier? So my husband told me, well, most of American feel coins are very annoying things. They want to just use it all. It's very very interesting. In Japan, we cannot do that. We even have a saying: "Ichi en ni naku mono wa ichi en ni naku." If you have to pay one thousand yen to buy a nice cup, but you only have nine hundred ninety-nine yen, you cannot get this item. So if you laugh at one cent because it's such a small money, you're gonna cry. Oh, I didn't have ichi, so I couldn't buy what I wanted to get. You cannot underestimate the smallest coin. Next one is. American sweets are super sweet. We had a birthday party for my husband's cousin's daughter. We bought a really nice, cute-looking, you know,、uh, birthday cake. I was very excited to try American cake for the first time, and then I tried on. Was... It was so sweet. And another day, my brother-in-law offered me a green tea, and I drank it. So sweet! I was feeling like I was drinking sugar water. It didn't taste like green tea, but I didn't want to be rude. In Japan, if you order green tea, it's not sweet. And last one is no pedestrians on the street. When I was staying in my husband's hometown, I was basically in a car and then you know looking outside the windows and then trying to find local people, but I could not see. One, I could not see anyone walking on the street, so I was wondering, like fourth day staying there, like, where are people? I only see a lot of cars, but I don't see people walking on the street. So I asked my husband,、uh, "Do people walk on the street here?" See, no. I'm, I was sure he was lying, and then I asked him, "Okay, if I see one single pedestrian on the street, you have to give me money." And staying there for two weeks. I see zero pedestrians on the street. I was like, "Where are those? Where are people? Where are people?" And then I figured out that people just drive everywhere in America. Yes, of course I know. I went to a bigger city like New York and Washington. I saw a lot of people walking on the street. But my husband also told me there are a lot of cities that people just drive everywhere. They don't really walk outside. So those are the things that shocked me most when I was staying in America. I hope you enjoyed, <laughs> and please let me know what you thought about it in the comment here. Thank you, everyone. Oki